Luminance come in the of the program. The thing is, they take it off. This is a minus six, six kilogram weight over three times three million rounds. And the beat class rules is no ground pound, no ground of pound. It's Lucid Burst and welcome into the red corner. Jordan Gowood! So Jordan Garwood in the prep area. Fighting out of five elements based over in England. Fighting at 66 kg and a B class fight. Uh, Jordan Garwood is uh, the first fighter from five elements I've seen. So I don't know much about this team, but we will sure find out in uh, a few moments. So yeah, Jordan Garwood, 66 kilos, fighting out of five elements. He'll be fighting from the red corner. So Gino Trofa from the Elite Training Center. Again, like I said, we've seen a few of these guys already tonight and we know plenty about them. They're a big gym and they, uh, they, they produce some excellent fighters, amateur all the way through to the pros. So final checks by Mr. Paul Nichols and they'll be entering the cage and going into the blue corner. So ninth bout of the evening, final instructions from referee Alan Jackson, and we're ready to go. And you're off. Both fighters against the cage. So the yeah, the trophy looking to go for a takedown. Needs to be careful at the neck though. Jordan Jordan Garwood looking for that guillotine, that standing guillotine. And he's got it under the chin. Just needs to clasp them hands. And there he's got it now. Nice body shots as well as he's uh, got the guillotine on. So the right right in front of us here on the commentary desk. We can see Gino throwing knees. Yeah, so I'm throwing some good knees, trying to go for the take now. I don't know if the take is going to be the best idea here. He needs to hand fight a little bit more. Yeah, he needs to watch out for the neck, definitely. And he's out. Both very, very lean for the uh, for the weight class. And uh, Gobu just got a nice head kick, uh, switch head kick on a trophy to daze him a bit. Yeah, it did look like he was a little bit dazed there. You know, he shook his head to say no, but it did look like he was a little bit dazed. Just whistled past his chin, just clipped it with the toes. Mm. Again, we see uh, Trofer going for a takedown, uh, close to Jordan's corner. And Jordan's doing a good job of defending uh, this takedown. Yeah. 
Nice knee on the break by Jordan. Jordan looks very focused. Uh, good head movement. Yeah, he's looking for that big left hook off the front hand. He's thrown it a few times. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and he catches it beautiful. And then the jab on her straight, straight after it. Gino looking to clinch up, looking to uh, nullify that striking that Jordan's got. Pressing him up against the cage nice. Jordan did a great job there using that underhook and turning off that cage. And the fight is break once more. Yeah, Jordan looking very relaxed in the stand up. And he tries that left switch again off the jab. Gina was wise to it this time though, blocked it with, uh, blocked it with his right arm. A nice low kick by Gino. Another head kick attempt by uh, Jordan. And that's it, end of the round. Very good round, I think it's quite even. I think Jordan maybe just edged it just a little bit in the stand-up. Um, he did have that left sort of left switch kick that slightly dazed Gino. I don't think he was dazed to the, to the amount where he was going to be in trouble, but you know, slightly dazed, made him shake his head a little bit, clear the cobwebs. Um, and you know, Gino did some good work up against the side of the cage, you know, you know, putting pressure on, forcing him up against that cage, landing some good knees. Indeed. So, so very even round. Um, we have to wait and see if it goes far enough to just see, won't it? Um, so what are your keys um, to uh, performing or probably taking the win for both fighters, uh, Carson? I'd like to see Jordan stay at range to keep it standing. His striking did look slightly better. He's got a big lead left hook that he uses, so maybe keep uh, Gino at the end of that. Gino worked well in the clinch, so maybe uh, close the distance, get that clinch, work well in the knees possibly take it down to the ground. Jordan does look a bit more of a striker, but we never know what, uh, what tools he's got on the ground. And ready uh, for the second round. Here we go. Again, Jordan starts with a right hand and, uh, uh, sorry, Gino started with a right hand and Jordan threw that, that big left hook of his that he's got and again. That's a nice jab hook straight. Gina's doing very well with these leg kicks. Um, he's found a few and Jordan's not checked any of them, which is something he needs to start doing. Yeah, good right overhand right there by Gino. And then he, uh, he bumbled him back to the fence. Got good position, see if he can get it down to the floor. Jordan nice, uh, Jordan nice and relaxed then, cross face. Called out by his corner and he uses it perfect to try and twist him away. It's great listening to the corner there, good advice as well. Indeed. Oh, and he gets uh, Gino down. Yeah, nice little try of a uh, sort of Uchimata takedown. It was kind of, didn't quite work, but still got the uh, still got the finish thing. Got him down to the floor. Now into side control. Nice easy pass as well. Just steps around them legs straight into side control. <coughs> good knees up against the side of the body as well. Indeed, that's a key thing to always keep working uh, when you're on the ground, especially knees uh, to the body when you're side control. Something that you always uh, need to be aware of. Small opportunities in the fight, just take them and use them. Jordan's walking down uh, his opponent, Gino, controlling the center of the cage. Yeah, I think Jordan definitely thinks he's got the better of the stand-up. He let Gino up, let him stand back up, back to the uh, striking, just walking him down. And Gino's landing some nice shots over the top. Yeah. And then Jordan looking for the takedown there, and Gino switches it. So Jordan back up against the fence. Gino looking for this, uh, looking for the legs. Jordan landed a nice little foot stomp and then Gino returned with a couple of his own. A nice knee to the body by uh, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan's using that cross face, absolutely brilliant. 
Every time Jordan, uh, Gino pins him up against the fence, just cross faces him, switches it off, breaks out with a nice left hook as well. And you can see a bit of blood on uh, Gino's uh, face from his nose. Yeah, Gino's definitely starting to breathe a little bit heavy now. I think Jordan's starting to take over this fight a little bit. Now Jordan's pinning Gino up against the fence. Making it uncomfortable for him uh, by pressing his forehead on uh, Gino's chin. Yeah, good head position. A good pick up and a nice little takedown there to finish the round. Great performance by uh, Jordan thus far. His boxing looks crisp. Uh, he is uh, defending the takedowns and he's uh, slowly chipping away at Gino. Yeah, I think Jordan just stepped up a level there. Um, like he said, you know, his boxing looks really sharp. I like that lead left hook that he's got when, jo uh, when Gino tries to step in. And then uh, Gino, when he does get pressure up against him, Jordan's doing great with that cross face. You know, he's used it two or three times now to switch him off the fence. Another um, thing, uh, sorry to cut you off, Carson. Yeah, it's all right, man, it's all right. Yeah, um, I, I was going to say that um, another thing that Gino's doing well is uh, throwing those leg kicks. I think uh, Jordan started checking them towards the end of the second round, but they worked really well for Gino. So if he probably sets these uh, leg kicks with punches, he could start chipping away at uh, Jordan's feet and Jordan's good, bo good, good boxing. And uh, yeah, that's what my approach could be taken. Yeah, definitely. Gino landed some nice leg kicks towards the start of the round. You're right, Jordan did check the last couple. But if he sets them up and lands them big leg kicks, it's going to take a spring out of Jordan's step and it'll, uh, that will hinder his boxing a little bit as well, take away some of that power of that lead left hook. So third and final round, nice touch of gloves to show respect. Fires straight back on it. Oh, 3-4. Four. four great shots by Gino, but then Jordan caught him one on the way inside. Just wobbled his legs a little bit. Indeed, good uh, little exchange uh, between both fighters. Yeah, I really like Gino there. He threw like four straight rights in a row. You don't see that very often, but it was very effective. Indeed. Ooh, Jordan got uh, Gino's back. Got a rear naked choke, standing up. And he taps out. That's a win for Jordan uh, by standing rear naked choke. That was very, very impressive. We did mention earlier the, uh, the cross face that Jordan was using when Gino had him up against the fence, and that was absolutely pinpoint perfect. He cross faced him, cross faced him that much that Jordan took his back and gave his back up, and he just automatically sunk that rear naked choke in. No need to jump guard, just had it standing, and, uh, and that was real tight. Gino had no, no choice but to tap there. Indeed. Um, great finish by Jordan. Yeah. And Gino was well, a great performance from Gino, but uh, it just happened to be Jordan's night. Both fighters did well regardless. Impressive, really impressive fight we had. Yeah, okay, do you have any watching the standing position? 